One of the issues we're having with all these batteries is we're having to rip off perfectly good inverters a lot of the time and discard them. So SunGrove worked out a scheme so you can actually get money for your existing inverter. Hi everyone, Dan and Matt here from GI Energy. Today we're talking about the SunGrow trading scheme for your existing inverter. So what we're gonna do is just go over, view, over exactly what that is. We're gonna explain a little bit more about who SunGrow are and what their batteries currently are that they offer. And then we'll give you details of what they're currently offer with their uh, trading scheme. And then um, I think that'll probably cover most of it. So SunGrow, obviously we've been installing their products for quite a long time. Do you wanna give us a bit of an overview of, of who they are before we get into the specifics of the offer? Yeah, so I think we installed our first SunGrow inverter in about 2014, 2015. So over a decade now, um, SunGrow have been making inverters since 1997 and globally have been one of the leaders yeah, for, for decades. Um, their position in the market in Australia has always been pretty enviable of, um, of every, every other manufacturer. Really good support, really good service is, is what they've built that reputation on and obviously a very high quality product um, that's always sort of slotted into that sort of mid price point. So if you weren't looking at an absolute top end inverter, we always had it as the most reliable product that, that we'd install. Um, to obviously ensure that we get obviously uh, yeah a very reduced liability of, of, a, of a great inverter um, we've been using their batteries for over four years as well um, so yeah great battery manufacturer great inverter manufacturer they now have an EV charger as well just to you know what I mean complete that ecosystem yep. and um, yeah just something that we'd always happily install because we know we're going to get looked after long term and they have two batteries at the moment they've got the SBH and the SBR range two different batteries for, I guess, different scenarios. Do you want to just give us a real quick <coughs> overview of the what those two are? Yeah. So the SBR has been around um, about four years. They have a start point of 9.6 kilowatt hours as the minimum. So I guess that one was originally used for sort of small to mid-sized batteries. Um, by today's standards, probably on the smaller scale because everything's yeah. just grown in capacity. The SBH um, start point is 20 kilowatt hours. So four or five kilowatt hour modules. Um, both can both options can be scaled up and um, so you can obviously go a larger amount of storage and then you can install multiple stacks as well so you can obviously by having the additional stack increase the capacity you're not increasing the discharge rate or anything like that um, there's different sized inverters that they can pair with on single or three phase as well so when we're designing those systems to recommend the right solution we want to understand what your needs are what you want the system to do capacity backup, um, if it's being used as part of a virtual power plant VPP or something, and then we can provide obviously the appropriate solution for you. Um, because yeah, the 20 kilowatt hour, that might be a really big battery for your neighbor. Whereas for you, you might want 40 kilowatt hours. Yeah. So there isn't a one size, that's why the modular option is really, really good. And um, yeah, we, we can obviously look at the appropriate one. Yeah, two great batteries. We install lots of both of them, as you said. Mm. The issue that we're having um, with the old inverters that I mentioned earlier on is a lot of people have got an inverter installed that is not suitable for a battery. Yes. Everybody wants batteries now for lots of reasons, which we won't go into now. But um, if you're purchasing a battery and you've got a solar system already installed that's a few years old, doesn't have a hybrid inverter, it means you've got to either remove that inverter and install a hybrid inverter or do something with an AC coupled yes. um, option, meaning keeping that inverter there, but then uh, connecting to the AC side. Sometimes it's quite a hard bit of pill to swallow for people. If let's say you might have only installed it three years ago or, yep. or less, now you've decided you want a battery, you've got to take that off the wall and often they don't have any value or they yes. never have any value really realistically. There's so many coming off walls now, yeah. you're not really going to be able to get much of anything for it. So what SunGrow have done there is introduced their trading offer, meaning you can take that off the wall now and basically your installer, I think most installers, we, we would anyway then send it back on your behalf and um, you'd be credited as, as a rebated amount for that inverter. So you get some value for that. Um, it means it's not going into landfill mm. either because SunGrow are obviously doing their thing and reusing them. Um, it's a really good offer. Yeah, that's um, great. Yeah. Maybe you can just go into a little bit more detail there of the intricacies and, and what it's actually worth for people. Yeah, for sure. So um, essentially, we would um, obviously see what model of inverter that you have in place and the value 
will be based upon the size of that inverter. So if you've got an older sort of two or three kilowatt um, SunGray inverter, be the sort of five to six hundred dollar range. Moving up to obviously a larger single phase, if it's one of the newer models, could be anywhere from a, a thousand up to about twelve hundred. And with some of the larger three phase, that could be up to seventeen hundred dollars as, as a credit. So really beneficial, as you said, makes good use of that inverter so it doesn't go to landfill. They can then use that for warranty purposes or something else internally. So we just need to get the serial number, check with SunGro that it's eligible for the trade-in scheme, which as long as it's one of those models, we'd be able to tell you pretty quickly that it would be anyway. We photograph it in working order on site, take it off the wall, package it up, and then we send it back to SunGro um, head office directly. Um, they'll then obviously do their checks to make sure that that inverter can obviously be used by them as well. And then, um, yeah, SunGro will apply a credit note with, with our distributor where we've made the purchase of the new hybrid inverter and battery. And then we'll obviously be able to pass on that credit note for that inverter, uh, which roughly is about a month, probably from the installation time for it to be sent back and checked um, for us to then receive that credit on our account, which we can then obviously reimburse. Mm. So most inverters are covered. There'll be a few out yeah. there, won't there, that, that probably aren't on that list, but most of them are. And um, your installer should look after almost everything for you yeah. by the sounds of it. So if you do have an existing SunGrow inverter, and let's say it's a grand, which yeah. is probably around the sort of average, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. That's pretty significant. Yeah, it's great. It's um, as you said, you've yeah, no one really wants to take off a, a, a working system. It's yeah. not ideal. You've paid good money for that originally, and you made a great choice with a good product. So this is just some way of obviously ensuring that you get some value from that. So obviously now install a really good inverter and battery combination. And um, yeah, and obviously save a bit of money alongside the subsidy for doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, obviously with that rebate, they're already saving you a significant amount. Yeah. You can get another thousand dollars or so off the, the cost of the new system. It, it, again, it makes a pretty big difference. Absolutely. Um, we will put in the description of this video all of the trade-in values at the time of recording. Obviously that can change. So um, if you'd like to get in touch with us, we can probably talk to you about this in a bit more detail. Send us a photo of the inverter. As you said, the serial number is, is what you need, but even just the model number is, yeah. is enough to, yeah. to get that started. And we'll be able to confirm with you what that's worth if you're looking at replacing it with a new SunGrow uh, hybrid inverter. Thanks for watching. Thank you.